Hi everybody. In today's episode, I am going to talk about my panic attacks. My panic attacks happened during my dark days, which are the days when um, I had temporarily lost custody of Chloe and Justin, uh, my oldest son or oldest child, um, was away in the army. Um, these uh, panic attacks actually happened at night. They always happened at night. And um, one of the things that I noticed is I didn't usually sleep with the TV on, like fall asleep with the TV on, but this particular season of my life I did. So the light from the TV would be on and I would fall asleep. And I was not one where I would set a timer so I didn't turn the TV off until either I woke up the next morning or I woke up in the middle of the night and decided I just didn't want it on anymore. Because I did not uh, have a timer on my TV, um, I would wake up in the middle of the night in this panic where I would open my eyes and I could literally see a spider on its web coming down from the ceiling and getting ready to land on me. Now, I don't have a fear of spiders. Um, I've been single long enough where I kill spiders myself. I'm just one where I don't like spiders and if they're outside, I'm okay with them being outside because that's where they live. However, if they're in my home, it's not big enough for the two of us. So somebody's gotta go and because I'm bigger, I make it a point to make sure that they're just not around me when I see them in my home. Well, having this panic attack in the bed of this spider coming down on me, like in the bed, of all places in the bed, because when you think about it, if there's a spider in your bed, it could easily get lost. Um, unless it was something that like did not blend in with your sheets or something, it could easily get lost. And who wants to go to bed thinking that there's a spider in their bed or potentially on them? Uh, so I would get up in the middle of the night and, and I just open my eyes and I see this spider coming down and I'd hop out of the bed and, you know, almost like be ready for battle because it was going to be between me and the spider. And it happened over and over and over again. And um, I, I, it wasn't a spider ever. Uh, but that was always how my panic attack was. It was always in the middle of the night, in the dead of me sleeping. And it was always a spider coming down on me, or that I saw a spider coming down on me to, you know, jump on me in the bed or get lost in my bed or something. One evening um, when I went to bed, I noticed how there was a show on television where this woman got really sick. And her family didn't know if she was going to make it or not. And they, I think she had like a massive stroke, but they were talking about how they knew she would be better when um, they had spoke to her and they asked her, um, could she talk? And the minute she talked, she recited Psalm 23. By her uh, reciting Psalm 23, they knew in their hearts that she would be okay because that was the one thing that she always quoted was Psalm 23. So, um, the thing that I felt I needed to do was I needed to get a grip on these panic attacks because I knew I didn't like them and I knew that I wanted to find a way to combat them so that I could get some sleep and so I could, you know, continue going on about life because that wasn't a way that I wanted to live. And I knew that there was something that I could do. I just didn't know what to do. But after seeing that show uh, one night, falling asleep to that, I was like, I'm going to try that. So I got up one morning and I started memorizing Psalm 23, Psalm 23, Psalm 23. And that was how I was able to um, overcome these panic attacks. Uh, what was I going to say? The reason that my encouraging scripture is each coming from Psalm 23 is because it was so helpful for me. When I recited it, it would calm me down and it would help me to focus on God. 
knowing and remembering that God is bigger than that spider and God is bigger than my situation of being in my dark days. It was a gradual process, but it did get better. Uh, so the panic attacks still happened, but when they happened, you know, I'd still hop out of the bed like, you know, I was ready for war. And then I'd be like, oh, it's just one of those. And so I'd climb back in the bed and I'd lay on my pillow and say out loud Psalm 23. And by then I had it memorized and I would say the whole thing and then I'd be calm. And then a few days later, it would happen again. I'd hop out of the bed and then I'd <laughs> jump in the bed, back in the bed and I'd say it again. And it got to where... I um, was able to not even quote the entire Psalm 23 before I was able to go back to sleep. So that's how I know that it worked for me. Um, so that was um, how I was able to overcome those attacks. And those attacks only happened during my dark days. So never in my other uh, seasons of depression did they happen. It was only that time. Um, but regardless of when they happened, I'm thankful that I was able to get over it. My encouraging scripture is coming from Psalm chapter 23 verse 4. It says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me.